Right now at 11, a 15-year-old dragged out of a bodega and stabbed to death may have been the victim of mistaken identity. Tonight, that boy's family says a gang member has apologized to them for killing the wrong person. Good evening. I'm Jessica Moore. Police say they are still searching for the five attackers, all caught on camera during the horrifying crime. CBS 2's Rena Roy is live for us in the Belmont section of the Bronx with more on this developing story. Rena. Well, Jessica, tonight that boy's family tells us he was completely innocent and wrongly targeted. A relative tells us they have received an apology via social media, but as you can imagine, and as you can see right behind us, his loved ones and the community at this growing memorial, they are not taking this lightly, saying it is far too late to say sorry. The somber glow of candles lights up the corner where 15-year-old Lissandro Guzman Feliz, known as Junior, was stabbed to death. I want justice for my son, justice for Junior. He was a good kid. Justice for Junior, something people across the city and nation are calling for. A relative who didn't want to show his face on camera tells us a gang member affiliated with the suspects has apologized in a Snapchat message. They were just saying the message that it wasn't for Junior. It was somebody else, but they confused him. And they said, sorry, they apologized, and they sent their condolences, but it wasn't for them. He's but gone. then, but he's gone. That doesn't change anything. It's not enough to bring my son back. They, I won't going to have my son with me. Instead, they're hoping these five men seen in surveillance video take those apologies straight to the NYPD. Police say they stabbed Guzman Feliz repeatedly in the neck outside a bodega on East 183rd Street and Bathgate Avenue just before midnight Wednesday. Apologize, go to the precinct. Say I did, I, I did, I killed this kid. Or take me, put me in jail. Police tell us the suspects dragged the teen out of the store, stabbed him, and left him to die on the sidewalk. Cell phone video shows the heartbreaking moments after as he tried to fight for his life, running one block to St. Barnabas Hospital, where he later died. That little boy should never gotten slaughtered like that. He, got, he was treated, dragged out of that, that store like an animal and slaughtered in front of the store like an animal, and nobody helped. Everybody watched him walk himself. He had enough strength to walk himself straight to the hospital. Guzman Feliz had big dreams. Dreams. One day he hoped to be an NYPD officer. Instead, the men in blue he looked up to now working to put his alleged killers behind bars. Police have been able to identify the suspects, saying they're known gang members. They tell us Guzman Feliz was not affiliated with any gang. I feel already dead inside. They broke my heart. My son was a little, it was a good kid. And back here live, you can see the NYPD is offering a $2,500 reward for any information leading to the arrests of any of those five men. In the meantime, his family tells us they are currently working uh, to schedule his funeral, which is planned for Wednesday. They tell us celebrities and community members have all pitched in donating to help with the cost. We're live in the Belmont section of the Bronx tonight. Rena Roy, CBS 2 News. All right, Rena, thank you for that.